Hi YouTube, um, I'm back with another video of our diet plan, our IBS um, acid reflux diet plan and today is day two for the healing plan. So I'm really excited. At the moment I'm preparing some um, chicken vegetable soup and um, let me just get the cooking going and then I will go take you through what I ate this morning for breakfast not leek um, this is celery stock then it asks for one leek only the green parts but I took just um, two-thirds of a cup that's enough then also we're going to use one carrot and just one ounce of gluten-free pasta so it can be spaghetti it can be um, angel hair any kind of gluten pasta that the recipe requires then obviously salt and thyme and also rotisserie chicken so i bought the rotisserie chicken i bought um half a chicken and the recipe calls for eight ounces but half a chicken only gave me 5.5 ounces which is fine um the recipe that you are preparing um, is for two people two sir or two servings so um, I'm not too cut up about 5.5 ounces of chicken then we also gonna use eight cups of poultry broth now my poultry broth I made it yesterday already so it's prepared um, I'm probably gonna use four cups instead of eight cups it's only for me and um, the soup that I made during the star plan was way too much for me and um, yeah so based on that I'm only going to use four cups of um, broth for my soup Okay, so we're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil. It calls for olive oil, but I am going to use tablespoon. Yeah. It calls for olive oil. The olive oil I didn't take that out, so I'm just going to use canola oil because it is a very healthy oil. Turn on the oven. All right, so first we're going to add our our leeks. Add the leeks, add the carrots, and add the celery. So this we have to cook for around five minutes. So I'm just going to leave it there. And then I'm going to talk to you about um, my lunch, not my lunch, but my breakfast for this morning, what that entailed. So for this morning, I had fruit and yogurt parfait, but obviously I did not have yogurt. And um, that actually made me think in terms of what can I use to replace yogurt because it has to be lactose free yogurt so I went on YouTube and I found a couple of youtubers who actually make their own yogurt either with coconut cream milk or with um, lactose free milk um, so I need to get all the ingredients for that for the coconut for the coconut yogurt it's only the coconut cream milk and prebiotics that some people use or um, yogurt cultures but I think I'm gonna make the lactose free milk because I'm not a, a, a fan of coconut so much I can tolerate it but I'm not somebody who loves coconut 
So what did I then have in in the place of the yogurt? So what I did, I had a banana flaxseed smoothie, um, and you know flaxseeds it um, thickens um, a liquid. So I took that as the yogurt with half a banana and some ground ginger um, and a quarter cup of chopped pecans, and it was very tasty. But the reason why I want to make my own, own yogurt, because a lot of the recipes calls for a, um, a, a lactose-free yogurt, and it's just impossible for me to find that here. Then I also have my snack for this morning then was a baked potato chip. As you already know, I don't do snacks. Then I also have an afternoon snack, which is cucumber rounds with shrimp salad. That's also something that I'm not going to have. Um, I do have the shrimp. I have the ingredients, but I'm just not going to have that. And then tonight I will film my dinner, which is beef tacos. So let's see how these guys are doing. Is it five minutes yet that they've been in here? It smells really good. I need to stand more upright. I feel like I'm like this all the time in the videos, but it's difficult to stand like this, like so upright. But it looks beautiful, right? Looks better, your posture. I'm all about posture. I'm very much into having an upright posture because it just makes you look better, makes you look taller, elongated, and that's something that I really strive to um, practice on a daily basis. And in my videos, I'm very um, disappointed because I feel like I'm slouchy like this, where I should be like this, up there. So after that, you want to add your broth, and we said how many cups? We're going to use four cups. Let me take this one first. Two cups. Three. Four. There you go. I'm using four cups and after that we want to bring that to a boil but first of all we want to add our thyme and I think for the thyme it is one teaspoon. This is half a teaspoon so I'm going to take, I'm not crazy about thyme but anyway. And then also one teaspoon of salt so this is half a teaspoon, so I'm taking two half a teaspoons. Then we're going to bring this to a boil. And then we're going to add our spaghetti, which is only one ounce. It's really just a little spaghetti. I don't know. It seems like it's, yeah, nice and clear. Just a little spaghetti. One ounce, exactly. So let's bring this guy to a boil. I already cooked my spaghetti. Oh, we're just gonna wait for that and bring it to boil, to a boil, and um, then we add our spaghetti. So if your spaghetti is not cooked, you're gonna cook your soup for around nine minutes so that your spaghetti, until your spaghetti is soft. But I cooked my spaghetti already. I pre-cooked it, so it's probably just gonna take me a few minutes to for all the ingredients to cook together and then I'm done. So as you can see, the recipes are really, really easy to make and the preparation time even is so quick. It's not, it doesn't take a long time. Um, but I'm always making something for my husband as well. So my preparation always takes a little longer and I film what I cook for him separately. So, um, yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but like I said before, I love cooking and and it's just a pleasure for me to be in front of the 
the stove which is so weird I never used to like cooking growing up as a kid but when you have a mother that does everything for you <laughs> that just makes you lazy right it's a recipe for laziness so let's cook that so I think I'm going to cook the vegetables on its own maybe for nine minutes because the carrots needs cooking and after that I will put in the chicken and the but I can put all them in together actually it doesn't really matter so as you know the chicken is cooked I'm gonna throw in the chicken as well and then I'm gonna put in our spaghetti so I used four cups of broth right and it seems like it's just enough broth to cover the veggies and the meat if you need more um, broth you can add it I am probably going to add another cup of broth now because it's going to cook for so that that's it um, for our lunch for today and um, I'll see you guys at dinner time um, when I will record uh, my tacos I will make my own tortillas I hope it's gonna come out right I don't know how to make tortillas but I'm gonna try because I could not find corn tortillas in the store um, so I just have to make my own. All right, till later. Hi YouTube, so I'm back with another video and um, it's still day two of the diet and we are now doing the, din the dinner portion of it. So tonight we are going to make beef tacos. So for the beef tacos, we need four tortillas but I couldn't find tortillas in the store, corn tortillas, they were only corn and wheat tortillas. So I decided to, to um, pick up this bag of corn flour and make my own tortillas. And the way I did it was just the way I make flat bread. Usually I make flat bread, excuse me, also with with organic um, Raji flour. This is an Indian brand, um, but it's a really good flour and um, my intestines can process this kind of flour. It says it's organic and I don't know if it is, oh, and gluten-free, of course. That's very important for me, for my diet. So yeah, so I, I will make the tortillas sometime just to show you how I make it but I think there's a lot of recipes probably on YouTube already with tortillas it's quite easy to make it I was very surprised um, with regards to the consistency or the texture of the the flour and the fact that it did not fall apart seeing that it's gluten-free it doesn't have that el elasticity but this flour is actually really sticky in comparison with that flour. I always struggle to, to roll out a, um, a piece of, of dough to make a flat bread. And even when I um, pan fry it, it always falls apart. So I'm so happy I tried this. So for tonight, we are making our beef tacos and what do we need? We need obviously our four tortillas. We need olive oil, um, nine ounces of ground beef, a leek, just a green pot, but I am only using, sorry, I'm only using um, two thirds of a cup. I think this is enough. Um, and then we're going to use some cumin ground cumin ground coriander some salt and then you garnish lastly your um your your mixture with some fresh cilantro and just a teaspoon of grated zest 
lemon zest. So let's start. Oh, of course you need also one cup of grated cheddar cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. I cannot find lactose free um, cheese here. So that's not going to be something that I, I'll be using. Also half a cup of yogurt, sour cream. That's something, of course, lactose free. I cannot find it here, but I'm definitely going to start making my own yogurt. Just one tablespoon. Here's my tablespoon. So one tablespoon of oil. I will take one and a half. I always take more olive oil. It's always olive oil is very um it has such a great aroma i think that's what i love about it add the ground beef leeks cumin coriander so everything else we're going to um, add after the oil is really warm and keep your pan on medium high heat on at the moment i'm on high heat because i just want to warm it up but as soon as it's warmed up i will turn the heat down a notch um, in the meantime I can show you do I want to right now no I'm just gonna wait for my oil I have to do one thing at a time otherwise I start burning things or I get overwhelmed and burn things so just one thing at a time so you want to add your ground beef then we want to add the leeks as well. Um, cumin, coriander, I think it's a teaspoon of each. Yes, cumin, one teaspoon. I love cumin. It has such a great aroma. And coriander is one of my favorite spices. These two are two of my favorite spices. Then also a table, a teaspoon of ground coriander. Then we want um, half a teaspoon of salt. And that's it. So I'm going to turn down my... Oh, I'm just going to cook mine on high heat. Because it seems okay doesn't seem like my heat is too much when it's too much for my ingredients I will turn it down but right now I'm okay I will just continue stirring looking good And so for your tortillas, if you have um, store-bought tortillas, you can simply warm it up in the oven. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn my heat now down on medium. Medium high. No, not medium high, it's just medium. Because I want to start cooking my tortillas. Also gonna need half a chopped um, half a chopped little bit of brown stuff of the avocado so half a chopped avocado that's also what you're going to need so that's why I'm not even um, too cut up about the, the cream cheese I, I know that's probably what brings the flavor and what put the whole um, taco together. I'm going to start um, frying off my tacos and I think you just use a little bit of oil in your pan. I like to do this, just smear the pan with your hand while it's not hot of course. So this is just for garnish but I'm going to put some in the mixture as well. Um, some of your coriander fresh cilantro so that it can cook with this mix so I made the tortillas then I just put it in the foil 
and then I keep it in the freezer actually but for this I just kept it as you can see my tortillas what's that it's wet we'll see how it turns out I'm gonna make two it would be nice if I had a tortilla pan right can you see it's not but you do with what you have I will really have to see how my stomach do with corn and with the broccoli and potatoes and all that those things um, at the moment I haven't had a bowel movement yet today but I'm hopeful um, and I will just continue with the diet and see how things um, work for me this is my first time making this so it's gonna be interesting apparently you have to flip it looks good and I love that it's so easy to flip it it's not falling apart not a lot of work I'm gonna turn off my heat over here this mixture is done So now just for our tortillas, put our tortillas over here. I don't know if I showed you the tortillas, but I'm sure you know what a tortilla looks like. <laughs> I don't know if it has the right taste, it tastes like corn. I don't think I ever ate a tortilla. Is it supposed to taste like corn? You tell me. Leave a comment. But it tastes good. I love the taste of it. Hmm. How do we assemble? Okay, it's very easy. I think it's ready. I think it's ready. I'm gonna turn it off because this is also corn um, flour that's been half cooked. So you don't have to cook it forever, I suppose. And I would say that maybe I oiled the pan too much. Guess just that much. And then for same for here. This is gonna be amazing. And then we put some you put some of this on. I'm gonna use all of it. Then excuse my avocados, it's a little brown because I had to freeze them. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put the avocado next to the mixture so that when we close it, I want more of this. I love cilantro. I love herbs. So when I close it now and I I hope to turn it again turn it to that side now I'm also going to put some avo on this side seeing that I don't have the the cream cheese there's something to keep it together I hope it's gonna be all good Put that like that. Tortilla. Why do you guys say, why is it tortilla? So they don't pronounce half of the word? We enunciate. I love it. Enunciate. Because when you enunciate, you know how to spell. You hear the letters. Oh, I forgot. How could I? 
Okay, never too late. Let's sprinkle this baby on. Ooh, yummy. And I like it on both sides. But let's first make sure. Ooh, this is nice, you see. Like some. Ooh, lovely, lovely. So there we have our tortillas. And it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you now. And we're going to have a taste as well. What do you think? It looks good, right? Hmm, I hope it tastes as good. Let's taste. Oops. Ooh, this is gonna, it's, it looks messy though. I don't like eating messy food, to be honest. Um, how do I eat this? Like this? Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's really amazing. Try it. Even if you're not having IBS problems or acid reflux problems. Mm. Try it and use your, your cream cheese. I'm sure it's going to make a big difference in the taste. But just with the ingredients that I cooked it right now, it is so tasty. It's really, really delicious. And... Um, the flavor of the, the the lemon zest oh it's just perfect so please try it and also i think it, i think the keto people they are on a low fiber diet right so this is perfect for them well till next time thank you for watching and subscribe if this information if, if the channel is informative to you um if it's not i hope you have a friend to suggest the channel to or somebody but yeah it's up to you till next time thank you